Hey, welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, sitting in my car here in France with noisy vehicles going by. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give another little update here to the channel. So I got some response in the last video, in the form of comments, of course, uh, suggesting what you guys think I should do as far as going back or staying. I thought I'd go through some of those. So from Andy Foxy, a longtime listener to the channel, for me, I'd want to stay in a place where my kid can get a good run at one school. I imagine changing schools a lot would be a bit unsettling. Absolutely, it is. Uh, originally, he was registered and uh, attending in one school here that he really, really liked, really liked the teacher. And, uh, well, they decided he needed to go to a class for people who don't speak French to learn French. And he does not like that. He uh, really didn't like that. He did make a friend there from the UK that has made it kind of okay, but he doesn't like going there. And he is more familiar with his school in America and would like to go back there. So, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see what we do with that. Anyway, Peter Ehinger. Hi, long time no see. Please stay in the USA. I thought there'd be a few of those responses, and um, the United States of America is looking like a pretty good place to be right now as uh, things are developing, which we'll talk about here in a minute uh, after I get through some of these comments. Uh, the situation developing in, uh, in Israel and the way that it's developing is a little bit concerning. Uh, let's see. Savage air guns. U.S. if you're not going to a city. China, if you want, since you've been there, but uh, get out of any EU country, in my opinion. Ah, you know, things are such a mess here, which, again, I can talk about here in a minute. Uh, the way that some of the countries here have let themselves go. I, I don't know what future they have, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's see. Joe Morgan, you going to have trouble no matter where you go, bud. Yep, I got that from a few people. Um... I agree with that. I think that we're heading into some uh, difficult times in the world. Of course, that's been talked about uh, by so many people. But um, yeah, I think it's getting rough. Food is getting expensive here, by the way. Mutant Riff, the sabbatical YouTube channel reported he was able to eat at lots of places in Wuhan for under a dollar. That sounded like they are having massive deflation. He used to have a business in China, but now just wanders the world. He is fluent or... Uh, Easily learns languages from everywhere. Boy, I wish I could do that. <laughs> that would be nice. I think there were some other uh, comments, but for some reason they've disappeared from YouTube. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm leaning toward going back to the United States at this point. Uh, but we're here, and uh, lots of things are also pulling us to stay here. China, uh, probably not at the moment. It's just not feasible. There's uh, there's just no way. Uh, the business, doing business there is just not, not looking good at the moment. I mean, it's not looking ideal in the United States either, but um, maybe a little bit better than there or here. Here, I, I don't know why anybody does business here because <laughs> you, get, you have to pay so much in taxes. I look at the little businesses here and I wonder how they stay afloat. I guess they do. I don't know. I prob there's probably something I don't understand about doing business in France or other countries like this. But, uh, yeah, the United States is looking like the, uh, the best option for, for things. I mean, we could stay here in China for a while and probably be all right. But at some point, I'm going to have to have some income. Uh, other, you know, it's not like the money can just last forever. So, yeah, that's got to be figured out. So the situation in Israel, that's starting to get concerning. I'm starting to hear things about uh, Russian hacking and all of this stuff and Iran and it sounds like exactly what the people in the government want. <laughs> They've been talking about going to war with Iran for so long. I think back when Obama was president, they were doing that. Uh, so yeah, great, wonderful. I mean, not wonderful at all. Actually, horrifying. More war, and they're tying it to the Russian thing. We'll see where this goes. I'm hearing a lot of people talking about, and you know, I don't know anything. I uh, I don't have secret information or anything, but um, I hear people saying like. Wow, the the uh, the Israeli intelligence apparatus has failed and allowed this massive attack to take place, where they're able to track small attacks. Somehow they missed this one. I don't think they missed it. I think they knew something was up. Uh, it's just a question of you know, was it incompetence? Did they uh, not know that it would happen? Was the timing off? 
or did they know about it and let it happen so that they could take care of it you know in the long run maybe they're looking at the bigger picture which is horrible because it allowed so many people to die we'll see i have no idea but uh things are moving and uh, it's causing major disruptions yeah maybe this is it maybe this is where we go into world war three war is breaking out all over the place I know Biden gave up uh, his big speech about uh, nobody better take advantage of this. Um, they're probably going to take advantage of this. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go, but it's not looking good. And uh, you know what? Being back in uh, the United States in a quiet place is starting to look pretty attractive at this point. Uh, as for France and these places, um, I don't know what's going to be left. There's a lot of people living here, and this is nothing against uh, those people, that are not French, and uh, they have no ties to France. They have no appreciation of the, uh, the cultural heritage or the history of the place. I see all these beautiful buildings here, and I think to myself, you know, in about 10 to 15 years, this place is going to be crumbling. Um, a lot of it already is, because these people don't care about that heritage. I see these big statues in the squares and stuff to these uh, icons and heroes of the Republic. And I think to myself, the, the people coming in here, they don't care about that. These are not their heroes. They're not their icons. And it's just going to get torn down like what's happening in the United States, or it's just going to fall apart eventually. And I, it, it's sad. It's sad to see, but, uh, well, you know what? That's what I guess the people wanted. I don't know. If you're French and you're listening to this, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah, in, in general, let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll try to get to them in the next video. Otherwise, I guess I better end this here. I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm proud.